Hello, my fellow hunters. Uh, this is Hiroshi Shive with Satoshi Treasure Hunters, and it's another clue day. Uh, today is May 12th, 2019, Mother's Day and Clue Day. So, we have a new key. It's called the Earth Key. I do know that there is a bit of confusion, and I personally got confused uh, about a key release, and I will talk about that towards the end of the episode. But a lot has happened. Uh, most of it happening, basically what I thought was going to happen May 11th. A lot of a lot of news came out May 11th and today May 12th. So before we get into uh, the details of the, the new clue for the new key, um, let's talk about the, the last key that came out, uh, which is the hunted key. So <clears throat> the hunted key, if you remember, you had to go and find uh, these field agents. Uh, one, two, and three, and give them a book. And each one had a, each one had an individual book, so you're supposed to give this object. And each one had an individual key. Well, okay. So let's get into this. So as you can see here in this picture here that was released, and I have a link in the show notes to who released this particular picture. You have a uh, field agent one, and he was given his objects by these group of individuals they met in France at a cafe on May 11th. And they each, uh, I guess you could say either each or the group, received a key. And now that key was actually released. Um, it was publicly released, and I will talk about who publicly released it. But the news about this is um, very important to the website today with the release of the new key, the Earth key, which is the name of the new key, and it's clues right here, and we'll get into that, that clue, you can see that the hunted key is found. So there was a bit of confusion on that. And the confusion has to do with this particular tweet. Uh, this tweet is from the official Satoshi Treasure, the Game Maker's um, tweet, Twitter account. It says, Field Agents 2 and 3 will return their keys to the vault in 72 hours if not contacted by a hunter before then. So while it's marked found because the first field agent was found, you can say uh, the other two are out there. And so starting, this is tweeted at uh, 2.09 p.m. Uh, this, I'm assuming it's Pacific Standard Time, uh, May 12th, 2019. We have till today, Monday, Tuesday, you know, um, Wednesday, uh, for these individuals to be found. And they are um, international. Uh, field Agent 2 has been narrowed down by different groups as being in uh, China. Uh, the third one, I've heard all sorts of places where the third one could be. But just like the, the Disney Vault, these keys, which are individual keys for the hunted key, will go into the vault, and I guess we will, will not be seeing those keys again. And so you can minus those two keys if not found by any group, or it is possible that it's found by uh, some of the quieter, more private groups that have formed, or some of the public groups that just haven't said that they have the other two keys. So that's why there's a little bit of confusion on this, of how is it found when in fact the other two, two are in the wind, but at least it gives some groups some knowledge that, like, hey, one field agent was found, but I still have opportunity or chance to get two and three and not be disappointed by the fact that on the official site it says found for the hunted key. Like, they're, they're, they're ass out or something. Speaking about additional keys, we now have um, officially announced, or you can say, uh, there was a hint of a, a woman holding... Uh, a glass uh, business cards, the business cards that have keys associated with them. Uh, she announced herself on Twitter as having one of these keys. Her name is uh, Jess Wang, uh, those business cards, I should say. Uh, her and Eric Meltzer, and I believe also Dobie Wan, were in attendance at uh, the Magical Crypto Conference, and they were giving out business cards um, all throughout May 11th. And so if you had an opportunity to be in New York or you know somebody in New York, uh, you had an opportunity to snag one of these business cards. Now, I haven't heard anything about the art tour or art exhibit publicly disclosed yet about anyone finding any information out, uh, out about that as yet. 
we'll be it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens um, once that exhibit closes if anyone has any information or write up but as of now I we have another individual and I've updated in the show notes of individuals that publicly stated that they have those business cards which Eric uh, Meltzer has stated that there's 18 of them. So Jess Waring is another individual. She's probably going to be going on conferences. I would encourage you to follow her on Twitter. Uh, maybe not hit them so much on other sites. I know a lot of people are going through LinkedIn and trying to figure out who potentially could also get um, business cards from. But I, I personally, just so people don't get, you know, hangled, harangled too much, uh, I would wait for them to announce it. They've been pretty good about announcing who has those business cards in their locations and, and, and where you can find them and how to obtain them from them. So Jess Wang, third person in the slot of the 18 business cards out there that you could, uh, if you're in the area when she's available. Um, I heard rumors that they might have a methodology for you to obtain these business cards from these individuals. Um, but for now, uh, she she's one of those individuals that if you have the good fortune if you're a group or as an individual being able to obtain uh, is another, I guess you could say, notch of obtaining. Um, I believe you have to assemble all 18 to piece together that particular key. So we have another public group that has announced themselves, uh, Toshi Ciphers. Uh, they um, have a store, team, Discord. Uh, they have a website here. And they're, they are the group that published the field agent number one's key. And I will show you what that key is. Uh, they also streamed meeting the field agent, but I don't believe, um, I've checked it a couple times. Uh, I don't believe that the, oh, there we go. It wasn't up, but now it is. Uh, you can go to, the, to their site and watch it themselves. Um, I'm not gonna play it because I don't know, like, as far as strikes or whatever, YouTube's so weird, those type of things. Um, I'm not going to play the media, but you can go to the site yourself and you can watch as the object is handed to the field agent. And right here is the actual key that was received um, by the, the new public group, uh, Toshi Cipher. And this is the key. You have the QR code and then you have... Uh, the cryptographic numbering on the bottom. Now, eventually, Toshi Treasure's site is supposed to release a key verification so you know that if a key has been publicly disclosed or you do find a key, uh, you will know that it is a valid key from them. That is not misinformation or you got swept into something else, which I will talk about at the, uh, the end of the episode, but you will know that is a valid key that you have. And then Coindesk did a uh, yeah, decent article about uh, the Satoshi treasure hunt. Uh, there was a couple interviews of the two, 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 yeah, two clans that spoke to uh, Leia uh, Kulin um, through Coindesk about the Satoshi treasure hunt, as well as a little bit of a snippet from Eric Meltzer himself. So... <clears throat> So here's the article. Nothing brings Bitcoin coiners together like a quest prepped with cryptographic clues. According to Satoshi Treasures co-creator Eric Meltzer of Primitive Ventures, so far nearly 60,000 people have signed up for notifications related to the international scavenger hunt for $1 million worth of Bitcoin. On Saturday at the Magical Crypto Car crypto conference in New York, Meltzer and the team revealed yet another clue, a series of cryptographic images and other hints hidden on business cards distributed at the event. And as revealed exclusively to the Coindesk, a group of veteran crypto investors have pledged an undisclosed amount to fund future games and campaigns. These sponsors include Naval uh, Ravkant, uh, I apologize if I am butcher butchering these names, I tried, I tried using Google to get these names right, but I, again, I apologize. Uh, Bahali, uh, Sarvasan, uh, Mark Pincus, Andrew Lee, IDO Collabs Ventures, Nick Carter, Matt Walsh, Melton Viermas, Lee uh, Zola, uh, Jean Chu, and Sam um, Elgorat. Uh, this is something Eric Melter has stated in the very beginning of this hunt that they did plan on continuing forward. Uh, upon the success of this one, or even not so much the success. Uh, I, I don't think success was hinged on 
um, this particular scavenger hunt, but they were going to release, you know, many hunts and then additional hunts afterwards. So there's an opportunity for this game to be something that's ongoing, whether it be a yearly event or a bi-yearly, you know, who knows how they're going to um, do these particular crypto puzzles. But they do have an anticipation that it might take a year for this puzzle to be solved. It'll be interesting if that turns out to be the case. But they, they've stated that this has been the goal all along, is to create like a company around the concept of crypto puzzles and um, hunts of some sort for people to obtain Bitcoin, as well as being educated um, on the different tools that are being used, all the different methodologies, as well as on um, Bitcoin in itself. <clears throat> I say the Sochi treasure is so exciting because it's pure joy of a treasure hunt card to a coin test. It's global and anyone can participate, which is very true. Meanwhile, many have formed online teams to collect the 400 key fragments required to move the prize from the game's Bitcoin wallet, Malzer said. So 400 of the 1,000 keys have been created. is necessary to unlock the wallet. Yet even the dynamics of these teams highlight how Bitcoiners are unique compared to other online gaming communities. For example, software engineer John uh, Catral cracked the code for one of the first key fragments and properly de detailed on both Twitter and GitHub how he managed to do it. For me, it's really all about education, um, Catral told Coindesk. So I'm glad that Catral is giving you know, a little shout out here. In the news article, he talks about how he uh, released Orbo uh, to help people uh, organize. <coughs> Cardell says, so, so far, the largest team using Ordo appears to have 600 members. I think that's the EV Satoshi site. It's a, it's a, it's a group. It's one of the groups I'm part of. Another large team called the Magellan Clan told Coindesk via email it has 100 members from 30 countries. It made a unique token to reward people around beyond the team who provides tips. With so many players flocking to Satoshi's treasure, Cantrell says it's only one making tools and services for other players. The 18 person Toshi clan, for example, has launched a merchandising store, and they were also the ones who released um, the related ones key. For teams looking to make shirts and other swag, Toshi Cypher's clan member Devin Kramer told Coindesk that they had full orders for custom shirts so far. While many players in this game were like Kendall, already Bitcoin veterans, some gamers have been attracted to Toshi Treasure by the collaborative play rather than the prize itself. Clues are spread both around the physical world and online requiring a wide range of skills and languages for teams to be competitive. We've had a couple of people who are new to cryptocurrency but don't know much about the blockchain, but they were brought in by the hunt, Kramer said. And Kramer's teammates, who, who goes by Yan, added, I think we're playing the first great game of the augmented reality era. And I think, I think there, there's some credence to that. I do think, though, Pokemon Go might edge out that for a while. I think we'll have to see. We'll have to see how if we stick the landing with this particular game. Um, but as far as augmented reality air games, this this has been pretty amazing and pretty fun. So on to the key and the clue that's been released today. Um, the Earth key um, is the name of the key. And when I first heard that, particularly when I um, read the clue, uh, the images of Captain Planet popped up in my head. Uh, the other thing that popped up in my head was, well, let's read the clue. Let's read the clue and I'll talk about what some of the images that popped up in my head. So the clue is called Breaker Beats on the Beach. The last key was a bit of a trek for some hunters, very true, but your help was greatly appreciated. Maybe now it's time to kick back with some tunes and relax a bit. The world is heating up all over and it might be time for some beach time with blue skies so the world heating up all over global warming again captain america not captain america so got in game on my mind uh captain planet and it might be time for some beach time with blue skies that made me think of spring breakers that movie uh that said a hunter is always hunting um so it made me think of, like I said, these images popped in my head when I read this and saw what the name of the key was Earth Key. It also made me think, like, if we have to actually go to a location, um, like a beach location, it made me think of the fact that, at least here in the States, uh, college is winding down, high schools are starting to come out, 
Um, you know, people are graduating, school is ending, so people start going to the beach. Uh, vacation time is a time, particularly here in the States, that people uh, go out and go to the beach. There's major holidays, particularly Memorial Day weekend here in the States, but other other nations that are, you know, in the Northern Hemisphere and have warmer weather, it's, it's summertime, so this is when the tourists come out, this is when the people go out and go to the beach or go, go away for a little bit and have some fun near the, near the waters. And it made me think of Cowboy Bebop, Bob, Bebop for the same simple reason that we're going to be like a bunch of space cowboys, some like ruffians, uh, just air dueling through these, these beach locations, if you will, uh, looking and trying to find these clues, and people are going to look at it as like a bunch of weirdos. And it is it just an image that popped in my mind of this particular episode of Cowboy Bebop or Spike. I forgot who he was battling, was just going through the city in this aerial battle. And it, it just, that's the image that popped in my mind that <laughs> some of us in our enthusiasm might be just blar- barreling through uh, people's like summer fun vacations. But uh, here we are back at the clue. Uh, break beats on the beach. Um, obviously, it has something to do with music, I would imagine. I imagine the location also has to do with um, a beach or, or something to that in nature. And we do know it has something to do with music because Eric Melser also released an audio clue. So this is the audio clue that um, Eric released. It's uh, at L Internet has emerged from a year-long hiatus with a booming track. Uh, AsianManda.com is a site, so if you go to a little internet, uh, director, creative producer, alignment, chaotic good, writer, uh, looks like a legit person, if you will. So someone that's been brought into the game, not something that's been, uh, I guess you could say, uh, faked for the purpose of the internet, or for this particular game. It says, joined March 2007. Uh, they have a website, Taza Berlin Rat Park. That might be important information. So this is the um, little internet site. Beyonce, uh, Iggy Azalea. I had another artist up here. Sound and music design. So this is a track by Little Internet. It's called Earthnet Demo. It was released May 11th, 2019. On the side here, the newsletter is about Asian Dan. I guess he's the one promoting a uh, little internet. And you have his information right here. It says here on the bottom of the track right here. It's, imagine a club that's present, that no escape, that's not escapist, active utopia instead of a LARPing dystopia. First track I've completed in a few years, but the earth is harder and the novelty wave feels right again. Break beats for the beach. Break beats for blue skies. Break beats to connect. Break beats for the planet. And then it has a website here. And more soon X in memory of Ben Beats at Little Internet. So, let us. So something might be in this demo that needs to be broken up. Um, I might actually actually make a comment on his track. And from the little comments here, it seems that uh, someone, he did work with Azalea Banks. Est-ce que tout ça, peut-être autre chose que les jouets là du fou? here but you never never know especially with it, these group of game makers and again I'll have a link in the show notes to all of this okay so this is my snafu and this uh, will prevent me from releasing the, the blue day video earlier today 
was um, this site. Now, if you look at this site, it looks exactly like Satoshi's treasure site. It has um, all the same information. But it's not. If you look here at the browser, it's S A T O S H I S T R E No S A U R E dot X Y Z. And it caused people to think that there was, in fact, a different key or another hunt going on. And it says, welcome fellow hunter, and welcome to this little side quest. I'm sure you're looking for more action. Let's, let's, let's start this new journey together. And you might see this number somewhere already. And it's 3301, which is Cicada. So. Oh, I remember. Mm, yes, too easy. If you came here looking for wealth, you will end up with a treasure far more valuable. Let's continue with this quest. And if you click on the moth, it gives you a picture. It's with the cicada. I almost wonder it might say, think it's the same image. But this, this site is no affiliation with the Toshi Treasure site. Um, somebody did this on their own. It's kind of a fake slash fan site. I don't know if it's malicious intent, someone having a gag, uh, or they're really a fan and they just wanted to put something out there for the community. So I have a link in the show notes. Uh, I just want to let people know that, that this is not from Sochi's Treasure, uh, the game makers themselves. This is somebody or a group of somebody who's doing this on their own. And this caused me great confusion <laughs> um, because I'm, I'm dyslexic and I sometimes mistype things. So I had to save in my browser, but this popped up and I was like, where did the Earth key go? What is this semi stable key? Why was this released uh, May 9th? And it turns out this is, in fact, you know, nothing real. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you had a good clue day. I hope you and your your clans are out there on the hunt, or your you and your group of friends, or you as an individual, are able to break down the clue and find the key, which is the Earth key. Um, until next time. This is Ferocious Shive of Satoshi Treasure Hunters. Uh, to the hunt.